Just imagine this. You're walking down the street and suddenly you drop your phone. Oh, and it's crushed by a car just speeding by. Oh, well, believe it or not, it's happened to me. And it's very likely going to happen to you too. Now, let's imagine that you have phone insurance. Woohoo! Great. Unfortunately, you'll have to find out how to get all of your authentication codes back, right? Well, with most authentication apps, getting those codes back is a real pain. In fact, many people have to go through that headache inducing account recovery process to set up new keys. Thankfully, after this review of the best authenticator apps, you're not going to have to worry about the situation anymore. After testing all of the top authentication apps through our review process, I found five of the top providers. And these include Duo, Microsoft Authenticator, Google Authenticator, Hyper, and Ubico. I've examined their security, their data practices, features, pricing, and usability to keep it as simple and comprehensive as possible. Our video will examine all of these important elements to ensure that you get the best authentication app. And if you stick around until the end, you're going to be surprised to learn that our number one provider is relatively unknown in the authentication world. You can also go ahead and find some special links in the description for discounts on some of these providers' premium services. So let's get started with round number one. Now, when it comes to finding a good authenticator, security is literally the most important thing. After all, if you found out your secure authentication tool stored all of your codes on a public Google Drive, well, you'd probably be mad. But while you won't find something like this on this list, some authenticators are more secure than others. For example, Microsoft Authenticator is secure because backups or restorations are kept to the same device type. Automatic backups aren't transferred between devices or account types, which is a secure practice. On the device type you use, security can be double covered through fingerprint, face recognition, or a PIN. So Microsoft does a good job here. Google Authenticator also double covers your accounts with the same three things. The problem is, however, that traffic is not end-to-end -end encrypted. Even worse, a 2020 update allowed malware to steal one-time passwords. Google is all about convenience rather than about security. Duo, meanwhile, is owned by Cisco, another well-known tech company. Its approach also relies on end-to-end -end encryption and zero trust access. Each unknown access attempt is monitored, possibly stopping unfamiliar devices based on your settings. Duo's process is similar to Hyper, offering passwordless solutions and single sign-on features. Both companies offer Fido certified security to back up their claims. Now, Fido stands for Fast Identity Online. The Fido Alliance runs as a trusted set of open authentication protocols. However, some security experts argue that Duo's platform is less secure than a platform like Hyper. Duo still relies on passwords for much of its work. It also allows fishable one-time passcodes through SMS texting and push notifications. Hyper relies more on a passwordless solution. Another provider, Yubico, adds a layer of security with a literal physical key called a YubiKey. Now, without the physical key, you can't access your passwords. So, Yubico offers a lot more online security, but sacrifices some offline security in the process. After all, all a criminal needs to do at this point is to steal your physical key. So every company takes a slightly different approach to security. With these approaches in mind, Google Authenticator is easily the weakest of the three options. Users should seriously consider how convenience sacrifices security. And Google's a prime example. But hey, please let us know your thoughts. Would you have picked another company in this round? While you think about that, let's move on to the next round. Control over user enrollment is essential for security. Whether you're a business owner or an individual, a good user enrollment process allows you to manage who has access to your data while remaining simple and accessible for all users. Now, to understand this in real-world applications, we'll examine some various case studies. Starting with Microsoft, their case studies tend to focus more on the company's search engine offerings. That being said, you can find a few short reviews on Microsoft's Authenticator, which confirms that it is easy to use. However, since these case studies are built into other Microsoft products, such as the text-based story on adopting Windows 11, well, it's hard to tell whether the user experience is more about Windows or more about the Microsoft Authenticator. By comparison, Duo stands out for its seamless user enrollment process, and it's apparent that the company is talking about its security product. For example, the University of British Columbia needed a robust MFA solution that could handle a wide variety of applications and protocols. 
Duo's customizable authentication policies and easy-to-use enrollment process enabled them to enroll over 40,000 users within one year. Now, for another example, let's look at Centara Healthcare, a company facing frequent phishing attempts. They managed to enroll over 60,000 users swiftly, benefiting from Duo's flexible authentication options and inline enrollment. But now let's see how that compares to Hyper. Now, Hyper stands out with its proven deployment capabilities. For example, it has successfully implemented its solutions in two of the top four banks. Other providers, while trusted, don't come close to Hyper's user deployment capabilities. For further evidence, Hyper achieved rapid deployment for a Fortune 50 healthcare company, enrolling over 1 million passkey users in just six weeks. Now this demonstrates Hyper's ability to ensure quick and secure user enrollment on a large scale. Even when looking at the smaller scale, Hyper's work for an American manufacturing corporation spread to 70,000 employees and 41,000 field employees, leading to a reduced onboarding process for user enrollment from three weeks to just a few days. Now these are just some pretty impressive numbers, yeah? But let's compare them to Ubico. Afni, a global customer engagement specialist, faced ongoing challenges with phishing attacks despite having MFA deployed for most of its 10,000 employees. Now, to strengthen their cybersecurity, they transitioned to YubiKeys, enabling phishing resistant MFA. This transition facilitated a seamless user enrollment process, with YubiKeys being easy to deploy across the entire workforce. But Yubico's more stunning case study comes from its worth with Naftogaz, a state-run institution impacted by the Russian war against Ukraine. In this case, Yubico shows that physical keys can make a difference when authentication is allowed in unique settings. Yubico even donated 20,000 keys to dozens of Ukrainian government agencies to aid in better security. Now look, granted, with physical keys, there are only so many people you can enroll in a short time. Hyper's rapid deployment and scalability, Duo's ease of use, and Yubico's simple yet secure physical keys highlight the importance of efficient and user-friendly enrollment processes in enhancing security. Okay, so each of these authentication apps specializes in different but similar areas. So some of these features appeal to you more than others. Still, some features are more universally helpful than others. Let's dig into this by starting with Duo. Much of Duo's features are built around its mobile application. Now, the application's entry-level features include up to 10 different authentication accounts. These accounts represent code generators for different accounts. You can then connect your accounts from different service providers, typically by selecting them from a list or scanning a QR code. The mobile application also includes a security checkup, so to be sure that your phone is up to date, and of course your systems are secure. Now, in our first screenshot, you can also see that Duo supports Google backups. It also forces you to set up a unique mobile device password, which you're going to need to remember when moving your authentication list from one device to another. So this is an extra layer of security, uh, albeit frustrating for those seeking a simple solution. Additional features include a security dashboard to manage your authenticator across multiple devices. So Duo is heavily reliant upon mobile devices. Some of its additional features are also incredibly helpful. These include passwordless authentication, duo push for mobile notifications, and support for single sign-on. However, some of these notifications and the reliance on passwords have been criticized in the past. For more information on Duo's features and pricing, go ahead and take a look at this screenshot. It reveals that Duo has a free version, but it varies from $3 to $9 per user per month. These pricing models are built for multiple users. Hyper also offers an identical pricing structure varying from $3 to $9 per user per month. So you'll find similar costs, but very different features. For example, Duo doesn't have a desktop app, but Hyper does. This app allows you to lock your computer using your Hyper app, providing an additional layer of desktop security. For example, you could remain secure if someone stole your laptop. Hyper also has an online dashboard similar to Duo's. Now, while Duo offers a better looking interface, sure, Hyper offers more granular controls. These include controls to review an audit log, an incredibly handy feature for those who like to dig into their security. Hyper also provides a fairly limited mobile app. It's more of a tool for logging in and double checking your apps. Now, most of the useful information is limited to the web app, which you can log into via passwordless login through a passkey or mobile app verification. 
And this means that you can access the dashboard either remotely or more easily through a private computer. Okay, now YubiKey is different from these apps because its product is built completely on its physical platform. This means that you're gonna need to buy a YubiKey, which can be around $50 or higher in order to use it. Without the key, you can't use the service, which can be frustrating for those who prefer to rely on their phones and automatic backups. If you lose the admittedly small key, well, you've lost everything. So despite offering an excellent online security solution, its offline security and features leave much to be desired. The app is also limited as a result, as you need to touch the physical key to your phone to use it. Again, this is great situationally, but not if you want results now without the chance of losing a key. So YubiKey is eliminated in this third round. Now, given that I've already briefly touched on usability by reviewing the apps, let's take a quick moment to review some of the points mentioned in the previous section. First, Duo clearly has an easy to use application with an incredibly clean and simple interface. Its user interface enhances the app's convenience. With push notifications, you can also make logging in a breeze. Duo also has a clean dashboard interface that's easy to track if you manage multiple users. Again, Hyper's app is very simple as well, focusing instead on its ability to log into the desktop and or into an SSO. Hyper also provides the additional feature to lock your desktop workspace, which is a great security feature when tracking different users. So, Hyper is ideal if you want a simplified web app with a security-based focus on accessing your keys and accounts. Now look, both are great authentication platforms, but Duo's reliance on passwords is its downfall. Ultimately, this makes Hyper more usable across multiple platforms, focusing instead on a completely passwordless approach. As a result, Hyper is the best authentication app on our list. You can also please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more security-focused content. And if you want security in other areas of our online life, go and consider checking out our video on the most secure email services. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.